Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. Uh, I'm glad you're here. I have finally finished the Damascus, the twist pattern, uh, the previous videos that I've made. I was working on this. Uh, the experiment that I was talking about in the first video when I started making this is what I'm going to work on today. Uh, what I was wanting to do is forge weld stainless steel outside with a Damascus core inside and make a San Mai blade that'll look really cool once the bevels are ground on there and then etched and you'll have the Damascus kind of giving way to the stainless steel or that's the hope anyways I've never tried it but that's kind of what we're going to do today I'll show you guys what I'm planning to use to uh, to get that process done I think it can be kind of difficult dealing with the stainless steels but uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot today see what we can get see what we see if we can do it who knows we'll give it a shot it's what it's all about right all right guys so here's what I've got for the sand my stainless steel so this is the stainless steel that's the Damascus more stainless steel this is just a canister a square tubing that I'm gonna use two end caps uh, I'm gonna use some white out uh, that will help keep anything from sticking to the mild steel can if stainless steel doesn't forge well to anything it's kind of a moot point um, I've read several different things that it will you can forge weld it together so I'm going to try to do it inside the can so that we don't have any excess oxygen to get in and cause any scaling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack weld just the ends here to hold it in place inside of there. Uh, weld these on each end, coat the inside with the white out, put the billet in there, or put this piece in there and then we're going to go through the forging process and hopefully we'll be able to get it forged welded out and then we'll have a really cool billet to work with to make a knife out of. That's the hope anyways so uh, stick with me let's let's see if this works. Oh one other thing I forgot I am going to use some um, 1084 powdered steel to take up the excess room inside the can. So when I fit these three pieces in there, like so, you see how much extra room I have. I'm going to try to center it up as much as I can, put the powder steel on each side just to kind of help uh, reduce that. A lot of it's going to get ground away. At the end of the day, it might look really cool to have Damascus, some stainless steel, and then uh, some carbon steel on the edge of the blade uh, depending on how it looks but uh, let's let's give it a shot see what it does All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld this end on here stainless and Damascus piece just I'm just going to tack weld the ends when it's pressed in the vise very very tight I just want to hold it tight and make sure that none of the powder steel gets in between the two there so I'm just going to give a little tack Right there and right there and then on the other side just to hold it. All right, I 
right, I've got this cooled down now. I'm going to shake this white out up, and then I'm going to pour it down in there. Make sure I coat all the way around. Did not mean to do that. What I'm doing is I'm coating the top cap piece that's going to go in there with the white out as well, and then we'll uh, let this uh, let this dry, and then we'll put the the stainless in there, stainless Damascus piece, and then put some uh, powder steel around it. Get that down in there, center it up as best I can, and then start adding some powder to it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks like a candle burning, right? That's a flame. Oh, it's about to go out. I'm going to leave just a little hole there to let any uh, oxygen and any th the stuff in there, the whiteout or whatnot, burn off uh, as we're getting this thing up to temperature. But uh, it's ready to throw into the forge. And we'll get the press on this thing and see if we can... See if we can make something.
we have it. Feels really solid. Cover off of it and the outer can and see if we have something to work with in there. Feels really solid. Just have to see. Got a lot of grinding to do.